Hi guys, welcome to my third DIY. Um, sorry that I've been MIA. Uh, I recently moved, so that kind of washed me out. I'm still tired from it, as you can see. Um, but this is what I made. It is a headboard um, made out of um, denim and belts, um, leather belts, well, full leather belts. Um, but I, I, I like this DIY. I'm not like 100% sure about it, but it's growing on me. I really needed it because I didn't want to make the walls dirty. Um, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you like maybe want to relax in bed and whatever, um, that can make the wall dirty. And I want to keep my deposit, but I'm not sure because I went and I stuck on these hooks and the paint is like wanting to come off. So, eh. Anyway, um, I hope you guys really enjoy. Um, one thing I did start off making it with a cardboard back, but then I didn't have a, a, a stapler big enough to like staple the the batting, and I didn't have glue my glue gun at the time, so I just went and I used pins. Um, eventually, I think I do want to get it sewn, uh, get the the denim sewn. I do have extra material left, so get it sewn by someone professionally so then I can tuck it in like a like tuck in the foam like a pillowcase so yeah I hope you guys enjoy please like share and subscribe also tell me what you think about the headboard um it was a really fun DIY to make um and if you do make it please send me a picture Here I tried to do the cardboard thing but I ditched it and then here I'm just taking the batting and I laid it out um, I bought a meter I forgot what it's a meter by what but it was probably about like a cent like um, 90 centimeters so I just placed the foam on the batting um, this was pre-cut for me at the store so that was great um, my measurements were 1.43 for the foam and then um, by 45 centimeters. Um, and then what I'm doing is I'm just measuring um, how large I wanted the edges to be and how much fold over I needed. I measured 20 centi 15 centimeters um, around the edge. So I wanted a 15 centimeter fold which was enough um, and I did this so that also that the denim headboard the denim material could have I made that 20 centimeters so that it would slightly overlap the batting um, yeah so I just went ahead and measured with my measuring tape 15 centimeters on each side um, and then I cut along the edges as you'll see Snip, 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 snip. Um, yeah, I have a lot of batting left. I wonder what I'm going to use it for. Maybe like to make something. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll show you guys something one day on what to use your extra batting for. Or you can like order it or when you purchase it, like get them to give you the exact measurements. But I was in a rush at the time. And the shop was closing hey but anyway so I just went along and cut where I measured um, I did like a freehand measurement I didn't use a, a marker or anything but you can if you want to um, just mark from like 20 centimeters away and over here I went and <laughs> I dropped all of the pins and I had to pick them up Hey, so sad. Took me forever. Don't shake your pins, guys. Ever. Okay, and then yeah, I just went and I put the batting over all the edges. 
and I put it pinned it in with normal pins that like people that so used to pin in hems it holds really well um, the batting holds well with the foam because of the textures of the two things um, so yeah it, it holds fairly well but you can probably do the, the cardboard version and over here I was just doing a corner um, and you just fold in then as you can see I was frantically checking where the markings ended um, because I got the last piece of the denim and then I'm doing the similar thing that I did earlier on with the batting to see the edges and here I measured 20 centimeters on each edge I bought I ended up getting um, I bought one and a half meters but I got an extra half a meter for free because I was at the end of the material so yeah that's what I'm just doing here seeing what the best fold is so that I can pin it in properly and here I measured 20 centimeters using my measuring tape you can also use a ruler it's not a train smash and same way you cut the batting where um, you mark your edges you do the same here um, I did like that you know the way people that cut it uh, the way professionals cut that's what I always think and they just like split the material and they go Shh. that's what I did with my feet um, it was a stretchy denim which is nice and it made it easier when it came to pinning to pull the material so that was that was helpful so here I'm just showing you how I pinned in the material um, as you can see because of the batting um, the pins hold in fairly well with the material so yeah you don't necessarily need to do the whole staple gun thing so yeah then here I'm just showing you how my fold looks and then I fold it over and then I pin it in um, here's the other side you can make it more neater if you want take a rest relax guys next step is ironing you should do this before guys don't do it post um, so yeah I, I cheated here so this is where the friend helps um, Jabu just sat on the bed to see the comfortability and I think this is where we made the mistake uh, we needed to hang it lower than we did so maybe halfway through the pillows um, that we sleep on there at the back um, but we just measured from the top of the pillow where we sleep. I didn't do like an exact measurement It's around 90 centimeters in total from where the bed starts to the top of the, the headboard um, And I used the pencil to do a marking And then each person will just um, mark where the headboard must so at the top of the headboard and on the on the side so on the right and the left side just so you can get a sense of where the headboard um is going to sit and where you'd like it to hang so as you can see use the pencil um i copied what he did he did like a longish kind of line you can always use an eraser to erase it And then I just use my tape measure to measure where I'd like the belt to be or ultimately where I wanted the hook to be which would mean that's where the belt would be I measured 20 centimeters from the edge of the headboard inward and then from the top of the headboard the marking that I made I did a, a 15 centimeter um, measurement to where I wanted the hook to sit so yeah the mathematics was hitting me hard here but anyway here are the hooks um 13 rand for four hooks cheap pep home is the best guys then the belts were like 45 rand a belt uh, 130 centimeter belt the longest and then i used these from my old diy we used a mop handle for this part to just make sure that everything looked kind of level and now sticking the the hooks up I just stuck them above the line the, the final line of where I wanted the hooks to sit 
and then I got assistance with hanging the board so this is where your friend comes in handy again and we just adjusted the buckle to make sure that they're sitting the same and the headboard is kind of um, straight the belt is straight I didn't take off the tags because I wasn't sure still not sure about this um, these black buckles with these black belts but we'll see we'll see with time if I can find the slip even but here's the final product thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe let me know what you think and send me pictures if you make it okay bye